So now moving on to the last part of the clean, we're going to look at the drop under and the catch. So we're going to look at the drop under and catch from the start of the second pull. Next few reps we'll see Dara catching in a full squat clean position. So we can see as he's moving through the second pull, moves his feet up and outwards to land in a stable base. The elbows are rotated really quickly under the barbell. And as he gets to the top of the second pull, he's now pulling himself underneath the barbell. Upright torso, landing in a very stable position. So we can see here now the importance of being able to get the elbows up and under and high in a, in a quick manner to land effectively and catch the barbell on the anterior deltoids effectively. So Dara, if you just perform two more reps. Explosive pull, rotating the elbows, nice upright torso, and the weight now transfers from this full plantar flexion, triple extension, to a mid to rear foot upon landing. And he's coordinating that catch with a stable base to land on. So the drop under and catch is something that athletes can find difficult at first and need practice in order to coordinate the movement. Now let's have a look at some of the common faults that we see with the drop under and catch. So the first one we're going to look at is failure to be able to get under the barbell quick enough. So Dara's going to demonstrate here a lack of ability in whipping the elbows underneath and getting into that effective catch position. So we can see for the athlete, it will result in the barbell being lost forward and he's not able to get into that correct catch position. So an exercise that we might be able to use here to drill that quick turnover, we're going to see now Dara's going to just bring the barbell up to the start of the second pull. He's going to get up onto his toes. As soon as he does, he's going to get under the barbell as quick as he can. This might be done with a lighter load, just to practice that movement, really rotating the elbows as fast as possible underneath the barbell, up on the toes, so we're mimicking that position of triple extension. And you can see it's helping him drive underneath the barbell really, really quickly. Because once the loads get heavier, we'll see the barbell isn't going to be able to be pulled quite as high and the athlete will have to get under the barbell a lot quicker. Second fault we might see sometimes is a lack of triple extension. So Dara's going to demonstrate here what that might look like. At the ankle, knee and hip, we see that he's not really achieving plantar flexion, and there's minimal extension of the hip as well. So what we might cue the athlete to do here is jump and catch. Simple cue, really enforcing the need to be explosive and drive up towards the ceiling, getting as tall as possible. So straight away we can see that this impacts straight away on, on bar speed and he's being really aggressive within that second pull. So jump and catch getting right up on the toes and we can see much more hip extension. So those two cues might be simple fixes for problems within the drop under and the catch.